Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show the NUMA Player VST Instrument in Reaper. Now, the NUMA Player is one of the more powerful free VST instruments available that work with Reaper. Let's check it out. We'll go to our search engine and search NUMA Player. Then we'll choose this link, which takes us here. Then we'll go up here to the download button, which takes us to this page. And then we'll choose the operating system we use, Windows or Mac. I'm going to choose Mac. And if I click it, it downloads the file. Notice we have to sign up or give our email to this company to use this software. Pretty cool. And once it's downloaded, we can open up Reaper. We'll go to the Insert menu and choose Virtual Instrument on New Track. And then we'll search NUMA, which makes this plugin show up. Let's double click it to put it on a track. And it looks like this. And we can see over here, we could play four different sounds at the same time and blend them to taste and just turn them on and off like this. But let's start with the acoustic pianos. And we can choose different sounds from here. We're starting with the Model D 1983, which sounds like this. Or we could change it to the Model F 2000, which sounds like this. Or an upright piano. Or a CP electric grant, which sounds like this. But we could also choose different type of sounds. We can go to electric pianos and choose an electric piano Mark 1. Mark II, a Wurlitzer 200, or a Wurlitzer 255. Then we have an FM electric piano, one, Electric Piano 2, Electric Piano 3, and Electric Piano 4. And we could also choose some basic keyboards, like a clavinet, a harpsichord, some vibes, a marimba. A Celesta, a Casoto, a Mastfisa, or a Musette. And we 
also have some strings and pads. We have a strings ensemble. A strings section. some cellos, synth pad one, synth pad two, A voice pad. And finally, a synth choir. Those are the sounds that come with this plugin. Let's put it back to piano. And again, we could blend four different sounds. Let's try blending with a piano sound, a string sound. We could adjust the string's volume right here. And we're not limited to one type of each sound. For instance, we could blend two pianos if we want. But let's put it back to one piano. Now each one of these parts has their own settings. We have some MIDI settings over here for hold, expression, octave, and transpose. And over here, we have keyboard and velocity range. And again, they could be different for each part. And we could also have different effects for each part. Right now, there's an EQ on this one, but we could add any effects to it from here. So we could add a phaser to our piano, turn it on, and now our piano has a phaser effect. Or we could add a flanger, turn that on, and sound like this. And again, we could add different effects to each part. And there's also a master section to control everything together. So we could add a delay and send each part separately to that delay. Let's add a bit more. And we can do the same thing with reverb on each one of the parts. Let's make the reverb bigger. And that's the master section. And we could also adjust each sound's tone down here. And to hear it better, let's switch this to a string sound. And we can go down here and readjust the sound's tone. And the attack and release. And the parameters we could adjust are different depending on the sound we choose. And everything we adjust in here can be saved as a preset or a program right here. And it comes with a bunch of presets we could load as well. Let's load this piano one, which sounds like this. or this other piano one, which sounds like this. And it 
it comes with so many good presets or programs, it's probably the best place to start. Here's a Christmas choir, which sounds like this. Let's go back to that second piano, which sounds like this. And let's quickly put down a part. And let's take it out of record and hear it back. And now let's layer a string sound with the piano. Let's use the strings ensemble. Let's hear it in solo. With the track. And let's add another part by duplicating this track. And let's choose a preset for electric piano. And let's put down another part. Let's hear it in solo. And let's go to the preset and add some distortion to it. Right down here. We'll turn it on. Set it to soft. Adjust the amount and tone. Let's go to the master section and add some delay to the sound. And let's hear that in the track. And let's add one more part by duplicating it again. Going back to the second piano preset, but let's change the sound to a keyboard sound and let's use the Celesta. And let's hear it. And let's put down a melody part. Let's hear it in solo. And let's layer this with a string part, but we'll change the sound to a string section. And let's blend that in. And we could adjust just the string sound to a different octave. Let's go up. Or we could go down an octave. I think I prefer it at zero. And let's hear it all together. Just like that, we created a part 
or a few parts with this free NUMA VST instrument. And again, it's one of my favorite free ones available for Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's the NUMA player VST instrument in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo boys, let's go.